So by the title, you can tell that today I'm going to show you the Android emulator which supports the Android 64-bit. So a lot of you guys were asking me in the comments that is there any Android emulator which has a Android 64-bit support? So finally, my answer is yes. Finally, it is happening. The Android 64-bit emulators are here. Not for all Android emulators, but for this specific. So yeah, you must be excited to know what is the Android 64-bit emulator. So it's a Chinese emulator. It's a kind of co-player if you know about the Android emulators and you know about the co-player. So this is similar to that, but this is a totally Chinese Android emulator. So the name of the Android emulator is simple. Tian Tian emulator. So I don't know what is the meaning of that. It, it, it's in China. So if you go into the English version of a website of this emulator, you will see that they say Tian Tian emulator. So this is the emulator name and they also have an English and Chinese version of website. You can download this from both of these sites. Doesn't matter. You're going to get the Chinese version of emulator anyway so yeah first let me show you let me prove you that this is the android 64 bit running emulator so i'm gonna open the fortnite because in my mind this is the only application or game which requires say only 64 bit android you can install this game only if you have a 64 bit android so if you have a 32 bit android that means you won't be able to install this game you won't have this install button so you can see we have the 64-bit uh, android emulator so we have the install button i'm gonna hit on install and let's see what happens i'm curious to know okay now the fortnite is installing so i'm just gonna hit install and finally after one minute it says the fortnite app installed i can open it but i want to go back to the home again like that and you can see the fortnite is here and now i can open this and there we go it's running i may have to download additional files let's see we are gonna wait if it's small size then we will play it for you so it says unsupported texture format okay i don't know but this is the 64-bit android emulator because without the 64 bit you cannot install this game and let's see let it load actually hmm you're about to use the cellular data to download the fortnite content this will require downloading 2 gigabyte oh that's that's a really huge file so once we download this we will be able to play this actually so yeah you got my point so this is the Android 64 bit emulator. So let me show you how to get it and how to set up this because default it doesn't come up with the Android 64 bit support. Default it's a 32 bit. So you may have to do something. Okay, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go to the site. You can download from the English version of this site the faster than faster Android emulator, whatever you call it. You can click on this download button and you will be able to download this and you can also go to the chinese version and uh, click on it or you can also do the translate if you want to and uh, by translating you'll know the real name of this emulator which is daily simulator and there's another version they say every day so you have to download the daily simulator only if you translate okay download the this blue one okay click on this and it will download the android emulator like that same for the english site if you go here you can see i already downloaded this so you can just visit both of them so it doesn't matter where you download it you're gonna get the chinese emulator anyway okay so close that once you downloaded this install it once you install this you'll get these two icons in your desktop uh, one will be with the small word and one will be the big okay if you run the small one which is the default it's gonna run the emulator and this is the android 32 bit emulator default so once you install this you'll get this okay and to get the 64 bit you have to run the another one which has a more letters than the first one you can see here so this is the emulator this is the 
multi drive thing okay it's a multiple instance manager something like that so you just have to open it once you open this you will see only this option which i have ticked okay this is the play button this is the second this is the copy and backup and i have the second option which says something in china chinese language and after that you can see 64 bit okay that is the thing you have to download to create the 64 bit android within the simulator you just have to click on this we have two options uh, which says 64 bit chinese word and the 64 bit you just click on it and you will see it starts to download the uh, files from the internet and then it will create the 64 bit android emulator so that's how it works and by just telling this that if you see the 64 word that means this is the 64 bit emulator so i'm gonna create a new emulator just for you guys and i'm gonna start a fresh install of the fortnite 2 so yeah let me create this let the process complete you just have to wait so once it's done you will see this okay uh, in your case it will be just one but i have two so i'm just gonna click on settings and i'm gonna change the setting as i want to in the settings you can change the display resolution you can change the ram uh, you can change the phone models if you want to custom you can have anything you know you got the idea so that's how it works so now it's time to start the fresh android 64 bit emulator now you can actually close this like that and we are gonna wait for it to load up actually so yeah let's just wait so once you boot up for the first time it will show you the instructions in chinese not in english and i found out that till now there is no option to make this software in english so yeah you have to be pretty smart to know what's going on here but you can at least change the language of your Android okay so you can go into the settings I'm gonna go into the settings and uh, look for the icon which is like globe something like this and click on it and after that you can select the Ch Chinese or, I mean English language I'm gonna select the English United States and you can see our system is now in English but the software is still in China so I, don't, I can't do anything about it and I didn't find any way to change the language inside this so if you're a Chinese guy and you test this software then let me know how to change the language in this so I found out that there is no way so this is not that popular uh, software in uh, other countries besides China so yeah maybe there is a possibility that this software is still in Chinese only. So now I'm gonna download the Fortnite again just for you guys because some people are not, they don't, do not trust me, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna download the Fortnite Android, okay. I'm gonna search on Google and you can see this is the official site of Fortnite, okay. I'm just gonna click on it and uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait until it loads up so there we go fortnite site is loading and uh, i'm gonna get, click on get started and download it should download the apk okay so fortnite installer is here okay i have to go into the file manager now root explorer the default file manager they have okay so i'm gonna go into the storage download folder and there we go fortnite installer i'm just gonna install it so the installer you can install it on any android phone but the actual game you cannot only 64 bit android is required to install the fortnite the actual game okay so yeah let it load and we're just gonna wait okay app is installed i'm gonna open it like that okay and let's see if we get any error or something okay i'm sure we won't get any error because this is a 64 bit uh, android emulator so you can see the downloading it is automatically downloading the uh, fortnite game and fortnite requires a 64 bit android so there we go 
no issue at all so this is the first android emulator which supports the android 64 bit the only one android emulator till now okay now the popular android emulators like blue blue stacks nox memu are gonna implement this feature on their emulator too i'm hoping okay i'm crossing my finger because those emulators are in english so it's better to have a english because we don't know chinese language yep now i can install hit on install and we're gonna wait and you can see fortnite is installed now we can open it like that and uh, yeah as i said you can go into the settings from here and you can change the display resolution minimum is 720p you can go up to 1080p okay and uh, let me show you one more time you can go into the another section i don't know chinese but we can tell by the uh, if you if you have used any android emulators you you know what's going on here you can change the ram you can use the cpu cores more cpu cores and uh, you can select your device what type of device what you want to have uh, in the emulator you know so the game and apps will think that you're using this device so you can also choose the custom we have the about and that's it and you can see here it says we have to download it so yeah you can see the download has started and uh, once it's downloaded we can play the fortnite hopefully because this is the only android emulator which supports the android 64 bit and uh, yep I, I i still need to do lots of tests for this simulator and i found out that in my opinion just by using it this will be the fastest android emulator ever i'm gonna tell you the reason after i do some research for this emulator and if the results are good then i'm gonna make a new video about fastest android emulator ever so it's gonna be fast faster than bluestack nox memu if uh, this uh, this simulator uh success on my test okay i don't know i don't know nothing about it but there we go this is the android 64 bit emulator and have fun with it so i'm gonna put link in the description for the download official site one is in english and one is in chinese you can go either of them and download it because you're gonna get the same software so yeah that's it have fun i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun again bye bye